Hello, we are group 792-6, the ambitious animals. The group project that we are currently working on requires our team to get together on a weekly basis and discuss the group assignments amongst each other. After we spend a few hours planning our approach for a particular assignment, we are each delegated tasks at home. Every assignment requires us to incorporate a management concept from that week's reading into our weekly video, design challenge, and milestone. Hello, my name is Cassie Tiba, and I am currently enrolled in the Bachelors of Accounting program at the University of South Florida in St. Petersburg. I am a very outgoing person and I love to constantly stay busy. Currently, I am employed at a brokerage firm, but mainly get to work in the accounting department, which has helped me tremendously in my studies. My greatest assets are that I am a thorough communicator, detail-oriented, and patient in desperate situations. Hello, my name is Sarah Panamonti. I was born and raised in the area of St. Petersburg. Marketing is my major, and I chose this because I'm a people person who loves talking. I am the person who gets everyone to smile and is the happy one around the office. I am very organized and outgoing. I enjoy being heard and working hard to get a task done no matter who it is for or where it is at. Right now, I'm an intern at a marketing company, go to school, and work for after school program. I look forward to graduating and getting started in the business world. Hello, my name is Marissa Jo Kraus. I have an associate's degree from Pasco Hernando State College and I am working toward my bachelor's in management information systems from the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg. I am an introvert naturally but use my interpersonal skills like observation and intuition to help me understand coworkers and assist them in overcoming any issues that they may face in the workplace. I am a self-starter and a very diligent worker. Hello, my name is Brent Schumacher. I am currently working on my bachelor's in accounting at USFSP. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, but raised in Florida. I am the treasurer for the Tampa Bay Technology Forum student chapter here at USFSP. I have enjoyed making videos with this group and creating Management Inc. Hello, my name is Vinny D'Souza. I was born in Brazil and now live in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I am the odd man out of the group, as I am the only one who does not live in the Tampa Bay area. I am very pleased to work with such a hard-working group of individuals. I am in for a Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology, hopefully with 26 more credits to go until I am a free man. Thank you. The team leader, which was Cassidy, focused on consistently communicating with the group and summarizing each week's group assignment. She was also the voice of Coco the Koala Bear. Sarah's main focus was writing the character descriptions for Willie the Whale and Hooty the Owl, as well as being the female voice for Hooty. Marissa shot and edited the footage for all of our episodes. She was also a great director. Brent was the voice of all of our mayor characters, which included Willie, Samson, and Thomas. Vinny wrote several episodes, outlines, created storyboards, and character descriptions. Coco is a new college graduate who is extremely ambitious and will be faced with the challenge of leading her team to success in her new manager position at Management, Inc., in her attempt to prove herself as a worthy manager, Coco tries to focus most of her attention on technical aspects of the company, which will include a thorough understanding on her behalf of procedures, processes, and equipment functions. Coco also demonstrates interpersonal skills as well as conceptual skills, while keeping in mind that since she is new to her managerial position, she will need to be extra attentive to her surroundings. Willie is friendly, but he also knows when it's time to get down to business. He is an upper-level management for Management Incorporated. Willie was the one who thought of the idea to hire Coco. He thinks that Coco has a lot of potential, but will be watching her closely in order to see how she uses her technical 
interpersonal and conceptual skills to solve the problems that she encounters as a new manager. He is hoping to see great things from her. He is also a leader, but his team is made up of a different lower-level managers in the corporation of which Coco is a part of. Willie loves to see his team succeed and will do anything in his power to make sure it does. Samson is a young, intelligent employee that has been with the company for a few years in a lower-level position. He is hardworking, but has yet to completely hone his skills. He wanted the management position that Coco received, but was passed over because he lacked some of the necessary interpersonal skills to be a successful manager. His major flaw is that he is a critic. He enjoys finding others' mistakes, but instead of giving helpful feedback, he just identifies problems with no intent of helping his co-workers fix them. He never admits it to anyone, but Samson realizes that Coco is right for the management position. It is his bitterness towards Coco that will ultimately hold him back. Character Development Thomas Thomas is a seasoned worker who has been at the company for a few years. He started a few years after Willie and works very well with him. Thomas serves as Willie's eyes and ears in the floor of the organization. Thomas is a steady worker, usually completing projects ahead of schedule, and has shown in his steady work that given a specific set of instructions he will accomplish the task at hand. This allows him a certain level of autonomy, tenure, and clout within the organization. He tries to get Coco and Hootie to deliver projects constantly ahead of schedule, usually with positive results. He hates change in the organization and is always fighting policy changes out of fear of the change itself. He is comfortable with his position, his benefits package, and his salary. Due to retiring in a few years, he does not see the need to climb the corporate ladder any further choosing instead to help Coco and Hootie achieve their goals. Hootie is a college student who got a job as an intern at the company. Hootie is a senior working towards a business marketing degree. She is hardworking and efficient, a self-starter. She does not need very much attention to keep her on track. She is very eager to please and always makes sure to be on the manager's good side. She is good at coming up with good ideas and being a good team member. She is working to keep a job with the company after she graduates. Hootie also makes sure she gives her all and nothing less. She doesn't stop at a job until it looks perfect and is done perfectly. During the first episode of our TV show, we will be in an office setting where Coco the Koala Bear will be hired as a new manager of operations at Management Inc. Being that she is a brand new hire, Coco initially struggles with the thought that she will have to earn everyone's respect as well as needing to learn the processes, procedures, and equipment that the Inc. company utilizes on a daily basis. It's in her nature to be ambitious and to try to overcome any obstacle in her way, but this challenge will be her toughest one yet. Luckily for her, Willie the Whale volunteers his time to help her in the training of Management Inc.'s main operations. So in the first episode, we use the concepts of interpersonal skills and formalization. Interpersonal skills describes the sensitivity, empathy, and persuasiveness that is crucial at all levels of management. Formalization includes the structure and systems that are related to decision-making, control, and communication in an organization. Of all the capabilities that managers must possess, interpersonal skills are required to be consistently high throughout a career in management. We found this concept to be the most important and recurring throughout not only themes of our TV show, but also when dealing with members of our own team. In this week's episode, Coco is in charge of evaluating employees' performances. Willie wants Coco to do these evaluations because he wants to see how she can handle this task, therefore evaluating Coco in the process. After much thought, Coco decides to use the 360-degree feedback system so that, on top of her personal evaluations of her team members, she also gathers feedback from her team to see how they all think each other is doing. Coco uses BARS, Behaviorally Anchored Rating Scales, to effectively evaluate each team member. The 360-degree feedback system is a performance appraisal system through which information is gathered from supervisors, coworkers, subordinates, and more. BARS is a performance appraisal system 
through which the rater places employee characteristics on a rating scale. We felt that having both of these appraisal systems in place would create a good system of checks and balances between the employees and managers at Management Inc. Having bars in place allows the company to equally evaluate everyone on the same rating scale, while having 360 degree feedback system allows for feedback from everyone in the company so that not one person's evaluation has too much power, therefore eliminating bias. Management has been constantly changing and will probably continue to do so perpetually. A major factor in the field of management is the challenges the managers face daily, but this is the reason why they must be able to think on their feet in order to succeed. The willingness to problem solve and to persevere until you come up with an effective solution is an invaluable part of being a manager. Technology is another major factor for managers because of the impact that technological advances have on business operations. So each individual in a management position should have, at the very least, a basic knowledge of hardware, software, and computer applications. Aside from technology training, a great manager has to be the type of individual who can effectively communicate their intentions and also be able to control a plethora of resources at their disposal. As a group, we all work together by communicating via text, emails, and Google Documents mostly, which also aided in keeping our assignments organized. Each individual in the group contributed ideas, which we ended up using in both our TV show episodes and the final booklet. With each given task, we try to include every group member and also divide the workload equally between everyone. The only major challenge that we faced was the physical distance of one of our teammates, although we did not let that obstacle interfere with our production. The most useful tools outside of our weekly face-to-face -face meetings have been both Google Drive and Canvas. Because of these two systems, our team was able to keep in constant communication with one another. This team has been the best group that I've worked with, and I'm extremely thankful that everyone has contributed as much as they have. Aside from the team, this class has truly taught me how to work in a group more efficiently, especially considering that this is an online course. I think we worked together as a team very well. When we had something, we all worked together to come up with ideas. Using Google Documents and meeting together once a week made it easier for us to stay organized and work together better. I helped and I did my part by giving ideas, doing characters and episodes to help put the final project together. We worked well as a group when our tasks were clearly defined and we were all willing to pitch ideas. I put most of my effort into creating the characters and videos for our episodes. Meeting in person once a week helped us organize our work and shoot our footage and using Google Docs made it easy to put all of our work together. Like all groups, we had our differences, but we were able to get on the same page and really come up with something special. While everyone put in their own work, I have to admit that Cassie and Marissa are the stars of this group. They really helped us stay on track and get everything done. Google Docs is a must in any online project. Being a remote member of this group, I feel sometimes like the odd man out, especially in my scenario. Communication with the team lead has proven essential to get the job done. I thank Cassie for taking the lead and doing a very good job at it. As a group, we recommend it for future students to never stop communicating with your group. Communication is key for getting everything right in this project. Having a partner who lived too far to meet with us, we learned that pretty quickly. Use things like FaceTime and Skype. Another recommendation we have is to use Google Documents. It allows everyone to work together as a team in the same document to make sure it looks the best it can be. It is easy to communicate and make sure everyone is doing their part correctly. Lastly, we recommend it to set aside and have some cushion room for your presentation to convert to a video, upload it to YouTube, and then upload it to Canvas. If you follow this advice that we gave you, your project should run smoothly. Go team!